shame to cover such a beautiful mouth. Don't you think so, Mr. Murphy? It uh, was necessary, of course. You see, I couldn't have Delcinea warning off her knight Aaron from charging the windmill. I was wondering when you'd crawl out of that rat's nest. Contraire. Senor Quixote. It is you who are the rat. And you, my dear, the perfect piece of cheese. Who's the poison pawn? Is it you? Is it Sylvia here? Sylvia? The poison pawn? It was Miss Linsky's father who wrote the anonymous letter to Capricorn. We found copies of it while we were going through his papers after his uh, <clears throat> unfortunate death. So why'd you have to trick me into coming here? I brought you here to offer you a trade. You tell me what you know, and I let the little missy free. So, let's begin with the STG pass cards. Where are they? The best of my recollection there, somewhere on the Spanish High Plains with my trusted servant, Sancho. I've got him with me. <laughs> Excellent. Now, in 30 words or less, tell me everything you know about the STG project. Not too much. I mean, I've heard implants, mind control, satellite tracking. Oh, and then there was that little experiment you pulled on me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it didn't work out quite as we had planned. You were supposed to be a good little detective and die, like Mr. Linsky. I mean, Linsky was your friend. I'd hate to see what you'd do to your enemies. Well, you're about to find out. Now, for the sake of Miss Linsky here, tell me what else you found out about. Well, there's someone running around with the name Overlord. He seems to be running things. You know, I think that's you. <laughs> Excellent! Excellent! Now, as a token of my appreciation... <laughs> One last kiss. Why'd you tell him he's never gonna let me go? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. It looks like she's not in the mood. For once! <laughs> well, uh, let's just uh, <clears throat> move on to the uh, murder-suicide portion of the program, shall we? <clears throat> you said you'd let her go. We made a deal. Oh. Mr. Murphy, please. Don't compound your gullibility with your stupidity. I mean, she's more of a threat to me than you are. The mere fact that she's been intimate with several of my enemies, not to mention a handful of my allies, makes her a real threat. You're a liar! Don't listen to him, Tex. I, I've never had anything to do with Klaus or any of it. I swear it. Well, I didn't say you were involved. But I do realize you have the capacity for treachery. For all I know, you may be as innocent as you claim to be. I'm just not a risk taker. Oh, don't look so sad, Tex. At least you know that uh, you were the last, hmm? I mean, perhaps she even cared for you. As much as he's capable. <laughs> well, down to business. Mr. Slade? Mr. Slade? I, uh, leave the necessary unpleasantries in your capable hands. My pleasure, Mr. Klaus.
was close. I was beginning to wonder how we were going to get out of this. <laughs> Don't stop wondering on my account. See, the way I got it figured, once I get all those pass cards, someone will pay top dollar to get them back. I was just taking out the middleman. If you take a personal check, I'd be happy to put in my bid. Well, I appreciate the offer, but I don't think you're in the right tax bracket. I was thinking more along the lines of, say, Jason Gideon. So, who wants to go first? I will. But I wonder if you'd consider granting me a last request. I suppose. As long as it's reasonable. Could I kiss Sylvia goodbye? At least that way. I could die a happy man. Well, I wouldn't want you to die unhappy. Go ahead. But don't do anything stupid. I'm gonna find a way to get us out of this, okay? Very touching. Now let's get down to business. So who's first? You know, Slade, any little girl looks tough with a gun. Why don't you pretend you're a real man? Let you and I go mano a mano, huh? <laughs> I'll give you one thing, you've got guts. All right. I'll make an exception this one time. No honor among thieves, eh, Murphy? Why don't you just come out first? Make things easy on yourself. If you don't, I might just kill your girlfriend first. Can't hide forever. I'll get you sooner or later. Soon is better for me. Okay, okay, Slade, I give up gonna get out of the situation alive anyway. I do have a proposition for you. For some reason, you don't seem to understand. I don't need to make a deal with you. You wanna blackmail Gideon, don't you? To do that, you're gonna need all eight STG pass cards. I know where you can get seven of them. What sort of a bloody drongo do you think I am? <laughs> 